New changes to SpaceX's BFR spaceship heading for Mars. A new spacecraft is heading for Mars. NBC News reports SpaceX's Mars colonizing Big Falcon rocket spaceflight system will consist of two parts, a spaceship and a rocket booster, standing 118 meters tall at launch, 11% taller than their previous design. Instead of placing six Raptor engines onto the spaceship, SpaceX now plans to add seven Raptor engines to power the BFR spaceship. The spaceship will also now include two movable fins near its nose and two larger fins near its tail. SpaceX's founder and CEO Elon Musk says this will help the vehicle maneuver its way to safe landings. The previous design didn't include any front fins. He also explained the vehicle will land like a skydive rather than an airplane, landing vertically after slowing its descent. Musk said he believes this design might be better than the previous one. He also added it looks beautiful. More stories related to Mars There could be life on Mars after all. After decades of searching for organic compounds on the red planet, scientists have finally been successful. Rock and soil samples taken by NASA's Curiosity rover from an ancient Martian lake bed has yielded organic molecules believed to be 3 billion years old. Organic molecules are chemical compounds that contain carbon. They can come from both living and non-living sources and are the building blocks for all life on Earth. Curiosity sample analysis on Mars instrument heated the samples to over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit, releasing small hydrocarbons that may be fragments of bigger, more complex molecules. While the organics could have biological sources, NASA says they are just as likely to have merged from geological processes or from a meteor crashing into the planet. Still, the discovery of the molecules sheds light on the planet's history, painting a picture of an ancient Mars that had favorable conditions for life. It likewise spurs on future explorations, with both NASA and the European Space Agency developing new technologies to search for signs of life. NASA makes a discovery that could reveal something new about Mars's past. For the first time in four decades, NASA has found oxygen in Mars's atmosphere. But hold up, it's probably not the oxygen you're thinking of. Atomic oxygen in Mars's atmosphere was detected by a specialized 747 jetliner that flew between 37,000 feet to 45,000 feet above sea level in Earth's atmosphere. From our atmosphere, the plane measured the amount of atomic oxygen on Mars by using a spectrometer to observe far infrared waves on the planet. The oxygen atoms were found in one of the upper layers of Mars's atmosphere, known as the mesosphere. Atomic oxygen refers to a single oxygen atom and is different from the oxygen in Earth's atmosphere, which involves two oxygen atoms. Atomic oxygen in Mars's atmosphere fits with scientists' belief that Mars was once warm and wet, with a thicker atmosphere capable of sustaining water and even life. But over time, solar winds are said to have stripped away Mars's atmosphere, causing the planet to become cold and barren. Studying the atomic oxygen in Mars's atmosphere will help scientists understand how and why the life-sustaining gases that once covered Mars billions of years ago has disappeared. Mission complete. A team of scientists have finally returned to civilization after completing a NASA-funded isolation experiment to simulate life on Mars. The six-person High Seas Mission 5 crew lived in a dome on the Mars-like landscape of Hawaii's Mauna Loa volcano for eight months. The dome was equipped with a kitchen, bathroom, common area, and six individual bedrooms. Though not confined to the inside, the crew were required to don spacesuits whenever they went outside. While in the habitat, the crew conducted scientific research, equipment testing, and resource tracking. They also had to learn to prepare food using dehydrated and shelf-stable ingredients. Communication with the outside were subject to a delay of 20 minutes, the same amount of time it takes for signals to reach Mars from Earth. To better understand the psychological impacts of a long-term space mission, they were fitted with sensors that gauged their moods and monitored interactions with other members. The mission is the fifth in a series of six studies designed to help NASA select crews that can do well on an expedition to the Red Planet. The sixth and final High Seas mission will also last for eight months and is slated to begin in January of 2018. NASA may have found a way to bring water back to Mars. 
NASA's scientists think it's possible to restore Mars's oceans by creating an artificial magnetic field that sits in front of the planet. Scientists say it is possible to place an inflatable structure that generates a magnetic dipole field at the Mars L1 Lagrange point. This would form an artificial magnetic shield to protect the planet from solar wind and radiation. Under this protection, the Martian atmosphere could become thick enough to melt carbon dioxide ice at the northern pole. In time, the atmosphere could spark a greenhouse gas effect that could restore some of Mars's oceans. Scientists said if the Martian atmosphere could be greatly enhanced over the next few decades, it would help pave the way for colonization on Mars. Scientists may have discovered water at Mars' equator. If you're looking for another reason to move to Mars, here you go. After re-examining old satellite data from 2002 to 2009 by Mars Odyssey's neutron spectrometer, scientists may have discovered ice around Mars' equator. The neutron spectrometer can't directly detect water, but by measuring neutrons, it can detect hydrogen signature, which could mark the presence of water or other hydrogen-bearing substances. Researchers discovered an unexpected amount of hydrogen around the equator by reducing the blurred or noise in Odyssey's data using image reconstruction techniques used for other spacecraft and for medicine. This improved the spatial resolution of the images to 180 miles from the previous resolution of 320 miles. Having water on Mars could mean that future human missions wouldn't need to bring water with them for drinking, cooling equipment, or watering plants, thus reducing the number of resources needed for transport. Scientists say more research needs to be done and more evidence collected to determine if the signature is actually from water ice. You wouldn't want to miss this. Newsweek reports that Mars will appear bigger and brighter from Earth in the next few weeks. Next month, Mars will be the closest it has been to Earth in the past 15 years. The planet will be 35.8 million miles from Earth. It reportedly takes twice the amount of time for Mars, around 687 days, to orbit the Sun than it does for Earth. NASA reports that Mars will be in opposition at the same time. This means Mars and the Sun will appear on opposite sides of Earth. Mars will be visible to the naked eye, looking like a bright orange star. Mars will reportedly appear five times brighter than usual, and spectators will be able to view the planet in the evening sky, which will appear increasingly dimmer as Earth moves away from Mars. Astronomer Dean Regas told Newsweek that most of the world, except Alaska, northern Canada, Greenland, and Iceland, will be able to view the phenomenon next month after sunset. <laughs>